been in business. Okay. My name's Doug Layton. I'm the owner. And I'm second generation to Charles Layton. Charles Layton started this in uh, 1952. He was in the store business before then, but uh, he started this particular store here in 1952. And I'm second generation. My son Charlie is planning to take over after I do. This is a uh, started at a uh, uh, kind of a supermarket with my dad uh, back in the, in the 50s. Uh, it was a full service grocery store. Yeah. Today, 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 today we're no more for our uh, butcher shop. We've become a full fledged uh, butcher shop. Uh, nothing's uh, pre packed or gassed or any preservatives used. This is all natural cut, cut to order. For an example, if you order a steak or a pork chop, it is cut right in front of you You to satisfy you, the customer. Uh, customer service is our number one. Cleanness is what Dad always told me, you know, it was supposed to be number one. The price comes on down the line. If you got the cleanness and customer service, uh, everybody will come, you know, it will bring your customers in. Most famous Almost for. famous for is our country sausage and our country smoked hams. And our country sausage is known probably worldwide. You know, we have shipped them everywhere. Um, there again, we, we still do it the old time way. We hand crank it. No, nothing uh, done mo in the modern way. We hand link them and, and hand crank it. And it's uh, daddy's uh, recipe that we use even today. Can you tell me um, what's in the pork sausage? Yeah, and the pork sausage that we've got, you know, our own recipe, so we use the old plantation seasoning. We use an 80-20 trimmings. We used to have our own hogs and our own slaughterhouse. But that's been done away with now. I had to buy trimmings. But we use an 80-20 trimmings. Used with the old plantation sausage season. Red pepper, salt and pepper, and sage. That's our key to the amount of sage that we put into it. And then the secret, the secret ingredients that I won't tell you. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, all right. I'm not going to ask that. This store here was uh, built in 1860, and it kind of had the Walmart concept even back then. Uh, this was the general store, post office, and blacksmith shop all in one. And uh, when Daddy bought it in 1952, he took out the post office and moved the blacksmith shop over to the house where it became a two-car garage. But uh, the store's history was, you know, one man, he, like you would see back in the old days, he wore three hats. When he was a merchant, he had a cap, and when he went to the post office, he had a different hat he put on, and then when he went into the blacksmith shop, he, he dressed accordingly there. So the Walmart concept of one-stop shopping was even true back in 1860. Wow, that's great. Okay. That's in 1952, Daddy was running the brick store next door as a grocery store, but he was outgrowing that, and this building and house came available up for sale. It was all in one, the house and the store, the whole lot, and he bought it. He bought the house and store for $3,200 in 1952. That tell you how wow. things have changed yes. today. And uh, then he had to remodel it and. Uh, and uh, moved his uh, grocery business from next door to over here. In 1970, he built the addition on here and made it larger. And uh, as you see late in the supermarket today, and then just two years ago, I expanded it again by increasing the meat department, probably two thirds of the size that it was, putting in larger walk-in coolers and walk-in freezers. And that alone doubled my business here at the late supermarket. Here is what we, like say, what we depend on here. The locals support us, but our main customers come from a long ways off. We have people who come as far as Nags Head, Manio, Richmond, a big following in Suffolk and Chesapeake. So people come a long ways just to get the country meats. And then the logo became this for the store. We've done this about two years ago. And uh, because that's the way my dad used to draw his pigs. When we, little, when we were little children, he'd come by here and say, let me show you how to draw a pig. And he'd do that real quick version of a pig. 
Yeah. And so that became our logo. Oh my goodness. Problems with ground pork is already in ground. We seasoned. As I told you earlier, this is the old plantation seasoning, red pepper, sage, salt and pepper, and the secret ingredients. Okay. <laughs> we hand crank every bit of it. At Christmas time, we'll crank as much as 4,000 pounds a week of Christmas. Wow. Stuff and sausages we use, they've got all kinds of synthetic and plastic cases, whatever. We still use the natural hull cases, all good. Ooh, oh most of God. these are, most of the holes are killed in North Carolina, but the, the trimmings and the guts are cleaned in New York. So they go all the way to New York, cleaned, and then shipped back. Oh my uh, for stuffing. This is the natural whole goods. Okay. There's meat plans today. There's three ones a month each month. At the end of the month, they come down, three new ones go up. He also has a Facebook page, Lady Supermarket. You go on the Facebook page, all the meat plans you can put on his Facebook page. And they change every month. Okay. How often do you come? Um, uh, every other day. Every other day? Now, what's the main purpose? Is it just for the, the, the for the smoke, the pork sausages, the ham, the uh, sausage, hamburger, just a fresh ground meat and stuff. Yeah, I like all the people who work here. I know them all since I was little. Okay. All right. This is what you call good eat, mate. All right. We'll see. You. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye bye.